faster than light, fresh launch. How to relaunch a failed product or service. Seven ways to increase your sales right now. Today, you will work out how to analyze what went wrong with your launch. You will discover the best way to launch a new product. You will find out how to reach more people and launch only to the new people. You'll discover how to convert your offer to an evergreen product and you'll discover how to launch your product to other people's audience. So how to relaunch a failed product or service. Have you ever had a failed launch or have you just had a failed launch and you just want to give up completely? And I want to urge you not to give up because you don't have to wait to relaunch your product. I'm going to share seven easy ways to make sales immediately. Have you ever had a launch that didn't go exactly to plan and you didn't make the money that you expected to make? We've all been there and it's totally normal to experience this and what happens next makes all the difference to your business thriving or declining. There are generally two reactions to a so-called failed launch. One group of people will get so disappointed and fed up that they vow never to launch again. And I have been there myself and no good ever comes from having this attitude. Another group of entrepreneurs will have a launch that didn't get the results they wanted, but they still want to move forward and keep trying until they finally succeed. And I do hope that you are the type of person who isn't going to quit after a failed launch because Failure is totally part of the process of success. Failure and success are actually one and the same. You can't have success without also experiencing failure. It's just the way the world works. So the sooner you accept failure, the more likely you are to dust yourself off, try again and finally get the success that you're longing for. Today, I'm going to show you how to pick yourself up after a failed launch and try again and get much better results the next time. And contrary to popular opinion, you don't need to wait another year until you relaunch. You can actually relaunch straight away and I'm going to show you how to make money immediately after a failed launch without annoying your existing audience. So step number one is to analyze what didn't work and make any changes. So the very first thing you should do after a failed launch is to analyze your launch results and see what worked and what didn't work. And I know it might feel painful to look at your stats if you feel like the whole thing was a total flop, but I'm going to show you why you don't need to write the whole thing off as a total failure. You can see exactly where things went wrong and how to avoid this happening again. So the very first thing you need to do is look at the stats on the marketing channels that you used to promote your launch. Look at the stats for all of your social media accounts. How many people were seeing each of your social media posts? No doubt it is less than you thought it was going to be. Now have a look at your email stats. Look at all of the emails that you sent out during your launch. How many people opened your emails? Again, this might be much less than you thought. Now have a look at your long form content. Do you write a blog? If so, look at Google Analytics to see how many people read your blog during your launch. And did you have a call to action on your blog to lead people to your email list? And how many people clicked on that link and how many people opted in? Do you have a podcast? Look at your podcast stats. How many downloads did you get during your launch period? Don't look at your overall stats, but instead look at only those episodes when you specifically mentioned something to do with your launch. How many people actually heard about your launch on your podcast? Do you have a YouTube channel? Did you mention your launch on any of your videos? How many views did those specific videos get? Now have a look at your opt-in freebies. How many people opted in for your lead magnet that led people directly to your offer during your launch period? Now take a look at your sales page stats. You can find these on Google Analytics if you host your sales page on your own website. 
Otherwise, you should be able to access the stats from whoever hosts your sales page. And this is the most important number. How many people actually took a look at your offer? So now have a look at the number of sales that you got. Um, what I'm going to show you how to do is to calculate the percentage of people who bought based on the number of people who actually viewed your sales page. So this is how we do this calculation. What we do is we take the number of sales divided by the number of sales page views times 100. So here is an example of how it works. So say for example, you had 200 sales page views and you sold five products. The calculation that you need to do is five divided by 200 multiplied by 100. Five divided by 200 times 100. The answer is that your sales conversion rate is 2.5%. Now the standard conversion rate for sales pages across all industries is between 1 and 4%. So if you had a 2.5% conversion rate, then that makes your rate pretty normal. And once you've got this conversion figure, you need to do two things. See if you can increase your sales page conversion rate by changing some aspects of your sales page, such as your headline, your price, your offer and your copy. Then increase the amount of people who view your offer by encouraging more people to get on your email list, test your freebie opt-in in the same way as you tested your sales page and running paid ads to reach more people. And you won't feel so down about your offer if you realize that your offer is probably performing in a very normal way. And one of the main reasons why people didn't make more money is because they just simply didn't have enough people viewing their sales page or potentially their prices were too low to enable them to reach their goals. So they might have sold a few, but had their prices been higher, they might have had a chance of reaching their goals. Step number two offer new products for free to beta testers. If you haven't been having any sales during your launches or very few sales, one thing that can really help is to offer new products for free or at a massively reduced price to beta testers at the start. And there are several advantages of asking beta testers to try your products for free or a reduced price the first time you launch. It increases your confidence when you see that people are getting results from your product. And with an increase in confidence, you'll show up and market your product differently. Your new energy will be felt and more people will buy. And you can add a bunch of testimonials to your sales page, which massively increases conversions. People need to see that other people have got results from your products before they take the risk and invest the money themselves. So you can ask your testers for feedback when it comes to improving your marketing and product. You can ask your testers what price they would expect your product to be priced at. And this will give you more of an idea what to charge. So you might be under or overpricing and putting people off. And once you start helping people and having people use your products, you are in business. And even if you haven't had any money, you are fulfilling your purpose and you will attract more success to you. Step number three, increase your list size and launch immediately to new subscribers. So the good news is you don't have to wait a year before you finally relaunch your product. Perhaps you have a list full of unsuitable people. And if for some reason you have attracted email subscribers who would never be interested in your product, you can now pivot your marketing and immediately launch your product again to new subscribers. So say for example, you start running Facebook ads to a brand new audience that you totally align with. You will get an email list full of perfect potential clients and you can launch straight away only to those new people. So here are two very practical ways to launch two new people so that the existing subscribers don't get annoyed with you doing the same launch again straight away. 
So the first thing you can do is you can take all of your launch emails and put them in a autoresponder sequence that runs straight after your welcome autoresponder. And as everyone who is already on your email list has already been through that welcome autoresponder, they won't receive the new emails. And this is a great way to get results on autopilot without having to keep scheduling launch emails all of the time. And the second way is if you want to do another live launch, you can schedule all of your launch emails again, but exclude everyone who is currently on your list by excluding subscribers based on the date that they signed up. Step number four, convert your offer to an evergreen offer and sell immediately. So you don't even have to schedule a new launch again if you don't want to but you can immediately start to make money from the exact same launch by turning it into an evergreen offer by using a funnel. So what you need to do is add all of the emails for your launch into an autoresponder sequence. And you'll need to make sure that you take out any reference to previous dates. And if you need to use urgency and scarcity, which I encourage you, highly encourage you to do that, you can use software like Deadline Funnel to increase individual deadlines for each user and automatically close down each launch after a certain number of days. To create an automated funnel, you first of all use your opt-in freebie thank you page to create an offer. So you can use deadline funnel to close down this offer automatically after the time frame that you specify. Normally, you would start by offering something low ticket. So you don't need to create anything new. You just take a part of your bigger product and offer that for sale as a standalone product. And if someone buys your first offer, you can then offer them a new offer, which is your main product straight away by repeating this pro uh, process again by selling on the thank you page. And once you have created a lower priced item, you can also offer this product for sale immediately to your existing list as a mini promotion. So getting a funnel that works well on autopilot is the most secure way to run a business and much more reliable than relying on launches all of the time. And it can take a lot of practice before you get it working well though. I use Deadline Funnel for my own business and I have this working very well on my Green Thickies business. And I'm also using it for my Kath Kyle brand and currently testing and tweaking different offers as we speak. And if you want to take a look, opt into any of my free gifts, such as my Easy Launch Tech Toolkit and have a look and see how I do it. Step number five, run ads directly to your offer. So if you don't want to mess around with a funnel, you can always run ads directly to your offer. And this can be a lot more hit and miss than creating a funnel. But for some businesses, it makes a lot more sense to lead people directly to a product rather than asking people to join your email list first. So with physical products, it can make much more sense to promote the actual product rather than a free version, especially if the price point is quite low. And it might take some practice, but you can get very profitable running ads directly to products. And I have done this myself running Facebook ads straight to physical products and did actually get my offers converting well. And I've since stopped selling physical products. And now I focus more on running ads to opt in freebies, which lead to my information products. Step number six, start a new marketing channel and launch directly to that. So if you feel like you've burned out your current social media audience by talking nonstop about your launch, why not try starting a new marketing channel? And there are plenty more social media channels out there. And, and even though you may have an account, you may not have focused any attention to growing your audience there. So why not give other accounts a go? So here are some other social media platforms you might want to try focusing on. Facebook. Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, Snapchat, Reddit, Quora, Medium, or Clubhouse. Step number seven, collaborate with someone else and launch to their audience. This is something that is very common for business owners, but perhaps you haven't explored it yet. 
you can actually collaborate with other business owners and launch your product directly to their audiences. And there are so many different ways that you can achieve this. You can set up affiliate programs where you encourage people to take your launch assets and market your product to their audience in return for a commission. And for digital products, the commission is usually at least 50%. For physical products, then you have to work out what your profit margin is and pick something that is sustainable for you and still attractive for other people. And once you've got your affiliate program set up, there are so many ways to partner with other entrepreneurs. They will be incentivized as they will make a share of the revenue from the sales. So you could run a webinar with them to their audience. You could host or be part of a virtual summit. You could include your products in a bundle that someone else has put together. You can both promote each other's products. You can create a video series for your partner to share. You could be interviewed on a video or a podcast or a live stream by someone else. You could write a guest blog post for someone else. And I have had people promote my product and also have promoted many other people's products and this works very well. Sometimes people like to share a variety of offers from different people with their audience and it makes a lot of sense to partner with people that you resonate with. So I am just wondering, have you ever had a failed launch or maybe you are just too scared to even launch the first time? I've totally been there myself. I've burned myself out. I've got so fed up of launching that I just said never again and I was too scared to do it for a very long time. But then I, I just started this new brand, Kath Kyle, and I decided I really want to start launching again, but I have to do it on my own terms. I have to make this fun and easy. So what I did was I created a strategy that helped me to quickly launch again and make the whole process fun and easy. And I have documented my system for launching with confidence and ease in my new course called Manifest Your Dream Launch. And I take you through a 30 day journey from planning your dream launch, manifesting your results, launching with fun and ease, and then analyzing your results and planning your next launches. And this lesson that you have been going through today is one of the lessons in the course. And I wanted to give you a taster of the kind of content that you can expect in the course. So I want you to go and check that out by going to kathkyle.com forward slash launch. And I also have a free gift for you. I have an easy launch tech toolkit where I show you exactly which tools I use in all of my launches across all of my businesses. And after a lot of research, I believe that I have found the collection of online tools that are the most effective, economical and easy to use. So save yourself the hassle of weeks upon weeks of research into the latest and greatest tech solution because I've done all of the hard work for you over the last 10 years and tried most of the solutions out there. This free toolkit is also part of my Manifest Your Dream launch course. So go and grab it now for free for a limited time only by going to kathkyle.com launch toolkit. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.